Yeah, so I overlook the Billings Building, which is the original Hopkins Hospital. It allows me on a daily basis to reflect on um, all of the amazing people that have worked at this institution and have taught at this institution and pass on their knowledge and what an awesome thing it is to be part of that great and rich tradition. One of the things that uh, was immediately noticeable was a, uh, a painting that you have in the office of the uh, Black Lives Matter uh, movement. Uh, can you tell us a bit about what that's about? And uh, Certainly. So that's actually a painting that was created by my daughter when she was in high school, um, soon after the Freddie Gray incident. Mm -hmm. And in our household, we talked a little bit about um, um, racial disparities and, um, and then, of course, um, talking about how um, social determinants give rise mm. to healthcare disparities and I, I think it really touched my daughter and so she um, chose to use that theme Black Lives Matter for one of her senior art projects and uh, then the painting uh, touched me and spoke to me mm. about the work that I do because many of the ur urban underserved population that I um, want to take care of and help those individuals achieve their wellness happen to be black Americans. What are some of the uh, particular challenges of providing primary care in an urban environment like Baltimore? The biggest challenge for learners and professionals is to understand where the uh, patient is at. All throughout medical school and residency, people learn about patient-centered care and how to deliver that in the best, best way. And at the same time, they're learning about um, best evidence and evidence-based medicine. And many times, the, the confluence of the two don't overlap very well. And, and so if you're taking care of a particularly vulnerable patient, um, excelling to exactly what the best evidence says might be too much for that individual and you might need to start with very fundamentals and, and basics, some lifestyle modification or um, uh, education about their disease states and together walk towards a solution that is workable both with the patient's lifestyle, with their financial situation and with their um, cognitive level and level of understanding of, of healthcare. What are some of the uh, most rewarding aspects of seeing uh, those that you've taught grow to be great physicians themselves? So it's always rewarding when um, you're watching uh, learners progress throughout their educational stage and become teachers themselves. So being able to see the, the knowledge, attitudes, and skills that I have um, played forward to um, other people is amazing. Dr. Stewart, thank you very much for your time. You're most welcome. Uh, that was a closer look.